So I have been irresponsible and neglectful of you makeup babies because I have not taught you how to properly take off the things that I teach you to put on your face. So, I'm gonna teach you how to take them off. And one way you should not take them off is this. Or this. Oh, it's actually not. Oh, I spoke too soon. Okay. I wouldn't recommend you do this. It hurts me. Probably shouldn't try this. <laughs> or this. Definitely not this. Ow! Ah. Oh, Jesus Christ. You were talking to me. Don't do that. So let's get on with how to actually take off prosthetics properly. Granted, this is not a prosthetic, but it is latex and cotton and, you know, same principle. Okay. The first thing you want to do is to move your face around because that can loosen the prosthetic and help you get a little edge to start peeling it all away. So let's make faces. Now that that's loosened, taking a flat brush. I'm taking some isopropyl Miristate. Am I saying that right? And it is the magical way to get all of your prosthetics off. Deep, 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 deep. Deep like so. Start pulling somewhere, and when you get a corner, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick right, right there, so you can see. Put your brush in there, Just put it in that corner of your skin flap, and start moving it around like so. If you feel like you're pulling really hard, or it hurts, just dip it again. Oh yeah. Oh. This is especially helpful around the sides here, where you have all these crazy baby hairs that you never knew you had until you have latex wrapped around them. I whip my skin back and forth. I whip my skin. Hang this on your wall as a souvenir. If you're weird. This isopropyl stuff is also great for wiping off things like scab blood. I'm just dumping a bunch on these paper tails and I'm going to town. Repeat until your face is clean again. But probably you should just take a shower at this point. Yeah, filthy animal. The little pieces are worse for me. Love you.